Theo, what have you done? Look at what you've done. You poop poopies. <laughs> Welp, I am out here in Seymour, Missouri, looking at poopies. Why? No good reason. I really should not be looking at poopies. I specifically told the lady before I come out, I'm not planning to get a poopy. I just want to come see the litter. So here's the story time. Uh, this is where I got Ronin. And before I got Ronin, I came out six months ahead of time just to check out the breeder and meet the family and see the puppies and the dogs. And then I got a deposit down and I waited till the next litter and came back and I got Ronin. So I've been reading, <laughs> reading about dogs and burners again. I'm just like, dude, I, I do want another dog. That's not a question. It's really just a question of when. It was a little bit of a question of which one. I'm not paying attention to how I'm riding. Hold on a second. There we go, buddy. That's what it's all about, baby. Anyway, sorry. So, pretty sure I want a burner. It's mostly just a question of when, and I realized, well, if I'm gonna get a burner, I should just go back. And if I'm gonna go back, I should go right out there, like I did last time, like I did freaking probably nine years ago now. So it's been a long time. Wow, that cow is moist. Short story, when I came out here before to look at the dogs, I rode my red Zixer at the time, and I had my big, stupid Venator helmet, which was like five pounds. So that was the longest ride I'd ever done up to that point. It's a three hour ride each way and my neck was shot. So I had a good day just riding back and forth. That was fun in and of itself. And then that was like seeing burner puppies the first time. It was a magical time. So the last one I'm going to do again, I have a half day. I can ride out and ride back home in time to go to motorcycle school, which is what I'm going to do next. Oh, I can still smell puppy breath on me. It's stuck in my beard. So I got lucky because it was 58 this morning, which is stupid cold for August. So I just got lucky. Perfect weather. And all the pups in the litter are still there because the pups are six weeks old. So I wanted to get there when they're basically ripe. But before anyone comes to get them, there's a, a male who was spoken for and three females. I'd like a male, but I'm entertaining or I've been entertaining the idea of getting a female. And boy, one of those pups, Freckles is what I call her and it's what the owner calls her. She's just, she's a sweetheart. Can't keep her off of me, but uh, I know it happened. Like there's gonna be a pup there that I'm drawn to. It is drawn to me and I'm gonna want it. And I have to say, no, I shouldn't. I'm not planning to. So as it stands, I'm not planning to. I have two weeks, roughly, to change my mind and get her. The problem is, is like last time, the win is important. I need to be like prepared uh, time-wise. When I got Ronan, I had it scheduled out perfectly. Like So six months ahead of time, I knew I was gonna get a puppy about that time. I had the ability to be home and raise the pup properly and all that stuff. Because if I got a pup now, I'm about to go this week long trip to freaking Colorado and that's a whole week without the pub which would suck so anyway you know just timing is important so if I make a video <laughs> in like two or three weeks saying I got a puppy you'll know which puppy it is but uh that probably won't happen all right individual mode let's get out of here listen to that shift oh it's fantastic stuff regardless I decided it was worth coming out to look just to look and also I had a great excuse to ride my bike a bit, so putting on like near 400 miles today, get home off of my motorcycle, and then sit in a classroom and point to kids as we tell them about motorcycles and motorcycle class. This is when I wish I had easy access to my hydration bladder. I guess I can do it pretty quick. I have it in my net right now. I'm finding out there's some limitations to this thing. Hmm. Ugh. But water is where it's at. I gotta make sure this is kind of stowed securely because if not, it'll totally fly off. I found it out the hard way. That's what it's all about. BB and 85. Here we go. Join my Dick's Cord, and if you want to come to a meetup slash ride slash moto camping event. You have to go on the Discord because you have to mark your attendance there in the Discord on the events channel because I have to have attendance specifically for moto camping because there's limited spots. I think there's a few spots left. I don't know because I don't know who has failed to reserve. But if you don't reserve on the Discord, I can't let too many people into moto camping. So if you want to come to a meetup here in Kansas, so I guess I'm in Missouri right now. If you want to go to a meetup in Kansas or Colorado, I have one coming in September. 
Discord. I am quite pleased with my schedule today. It's working out perfectly. I didn't even need to pack, but I packed <laughs> stuff in my top case because like there's so much room. I brought Crocs and I brought my moto camping chair, which I haven't got to use yet, but I will because I have remaining a perfect two hour buffer between here and home. That allows time for me to stop and have a drink somewhere or a snack, which I'm very excited about. I love stopping on road trips. I mean, I let me just go on a little tirade here. So for example, the Colorado ride, the ride from here to Colorado, I've done that over 10 times. Maybe not on the bike every time, but I've made that trip over 10 times. That trip is nine hours driving time, probably 11, 12 hours road time. And I've learned, I've always been the mentality of, oh, I gotta get there as fast as I can, I can't stop, I gotta get there. So when I get there, I get there earlier and then relax. Well, here's the problem with that. That's nine hours of not relaxing. <clears throat> and then this always happens. I'll get to my destination, I'll sit down, I'll be there early, and I'll just be sitting there like, well, now what? And then I'm bored. What I found works better, I forgot to signal, what I found works better is kind of taking your time on the ride, figuring it stops for the ride, and it's like a no-brainer because I just love sitting at gas stations having a drink and people watching. I don't know why I like it so much. I guess I have a hobo in my DNA or a beach bum, something like that. I think it's a beach bum, but anyway, regardless. That Colorado trip, for example, is far more enjoyable if instead of rushing to get there to sit around and do nothing, if I just take a stop, chillax a bit, like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and then get back on the bike and go. Then your butt's less tired, you're less tired, you're more refreshed, you feel like the riding is less of a chore and more of like part of the fun. Anyway, so all that to say, I have a schedule for today. I'm on schedule. I had just enough time to stop on the way here. I got enough time to stop on the way back. I have yet to whip out my moto camping chair. I can't wait to do that. I bought a new moto camping chair because my last one borked, which is too bad, but sorry. I'm just ranting about a bunch of crap. All this motorcycle stuff makes me happy. Dog! <laughs> Dog's got his head on top of her head, that's funny. I said I was going to talk about puppies, but I got nothing else to talk about. So I'll just say one more thing before I end the video because it's really loud and I want to chillax. I don't know if you can hear me if this is boring, but the only thing stopping me from getting a burner, aside from dog responsibilities in general and the timing and everything, is the fact that I can't get my burner on a motorcycle that freaking sucks. Because I love motorcycles, I love dogs too, and I haven't been able to mix them. And I know you're going to say, get a sidecar, it's not that simple. I'll complain about it some other time. Anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. I hope you're all doing well and being good. And we'll see each other later. Bye.